Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for Thursday, the 29th of February. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? This is a daily reading. It's for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Any Anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second of the reading. Different storylines, different messages for different people. These are all coming out no matter what I do with this deck. Backwards, <laughs> upside down. All right, we've got the sacred temple at the bottom. We have the loving man and we have the decrease cycle. So something's been going on around being stuck in a decrease cycle, but we have spirit stepping in here with the sacred temple or it was part of your path. When I see the sacred temple, it's a spirit card. It's a number five card. So it says change is coming. You were probably meant to be, and look how the number five card, the people card of the loving man, that's a number five card too. I never realized that before. So fives mean change and we want a cycle to change when you're in um, a lack cycle like that. So um, at the bottom of your deck, this is really strange that I happen to look at it because this was your bottom card. And I usually pull one, two, or if three come out, that's fine. But I usually pull your bottom card, right? Right behind your bottom card is another lack card, a consciousness of lack. And behind it, the cycle card of new beginnings, the number one card. So interestingly, this is the five of pentacles, another five card. So I feel like these all need to be here. Uh, you have something going on, loving man, this is you or someone around you, or it has something to do with you and this person it's stuck in a consciousness of lack, a lack cycle, a decrease cycle. All right. But spirit wants this to change and says, this is part of your path, but that doesn't mean you stay on it. You were just supposed to go through it and get out of it and get into a brand new, new beginning cycle and number one cycle. There's an opportunity coming for you to bust free from what has been a difficult cycle. This is a quantum Oracle. We're using Celtic universal and we're also going to be using wheel of the year. So let's find out spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? And what are the messages? This reading is for Wednesday, the 29th, I believe. Did I say 29th? Let me just double check the date, guys. Yes, the 29th of February. What do we need to know? What are the messages? The loving man, consciousness of lack. Lack cycle. What was it? Decrease cycle. I'm sorry. Um, the temple path and new beginnings. Beautiful. What do we need to know? What are the messages? All right, let's do it. What do we need to know about this coming Thursday for anyone who's guided? The wheel of the year. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, I called it the wheel of the year. We're going to be using the wheel of the year tarot in a minute, but I meant the wheel of fortune. What else do we need to know here, please? What's important? Yep, there it is. There it is. Three of Wands. Beautiful. Eye on the prize. Forward motion. That's your central issue. Yep, there it goes. No more. No more wounded warrior. Nine, nine of Wands reversed. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. And the Strength card. Wow. Absolutely. So... No more stress, no more needing to defend yourself. Nine of wands reverse, nine of swords reverse. And you're at nines and tens. Ten is the wheel of fortune about ready to come in any minute. When this comes in, you are off to the races. Three of wands. And look how it's like a hunter and his dogs going right towards the prize, the white deer down there. Beautiful energy. Uh, you have the strength card and you also have the eight of pentacles. So something's definitely changing here. Uh, you have the eight of wands in the reverse and you have another five card, five of cups. This person's taking a glance back at the past and about looking at those, all those cups that are probably empty in reverse. This is regrets, you know, looking back, but now we're, we're letting it go. Um, I definitely feel 
You could have been um, stuck, blocked with the eight of wands here reversed from this new beginning right there. Look at it. Beautiful, huge new beginning eight of cups. It's like you've been unable to go get it with the eight of wands here and you needed to release these fives. I, we all go through some kind of losses. We all go through some kind of decreased cycle. We all go through these situations, but we can't live in them. We're going to have to let them go. Or we just stay like this forever, you know? We don't want to stay like that forever. We want these new opportunities that Spirit's trying to send in. We want the prize, you know? We want to see the Wheel of Fortune come in and change our fortune, change our luck, change our cycle. All right, let's find out about it. You're at eights, wait, eights, nines, and ten. And fives mean change. So this is so good for you. And not only, a 10 is also a one, your cycle card, your new beginning. Um, you're right there and another one. So you're already at your new beginnings here. We just got to fine tune something or you got to release something. There's just this one last thing to get this to boom. End up being the thing that lets you go into the new cycle. Let's find out. Wheel of the Year, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Thursday's reading for anyone who's guided. Thursday's reading this coming Thursday for anyone who's guided. All right, let's take a look at anything could come out right till the very last second in this reading and all the readings. Tell me about the three of wands smacked out in the middle. Central issue. I on the prize forward motion. What have you manifested? It's coming in three. Of, okay, there it goes. Three of cups came out. Give me another one on the three of wands and three of cups, please. feels really happy it's like wow i made it I've, i'm succeeding yeah absolutely the page of wands and the page of wands you know it's all about that forward mo motion it's action right action and also the page of wands looks like they're um you know looking for something seeing something receiving a letter there's a letter on the wall i feel like you're going to be really happy with whatever this is if you're waiting for some kind of news or information to come in you're going to be like celebrating when it comes in because it's exactly what you wanted it's the prize um and it could be the thing that's actually going to turn this wheel let's take a look at it tell us about the wheel of fortune reverse please why is the wheel of fortune in the reverse High Priestess. Can I get another one? You could intuitively know this is about to happen. Tell me about the High Priestess. Or this could, again, be information you're waiting for. Tell me about High Priestess with the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. It could be the information that's been keeping everything stuck. Yeah, it's something you're waiting for. Seven of Pentacles came out reverse. The information you're waiting for is the only thing keeping the wheel from turning and the prize, uh, the forward motion here. Tell me about, I want to look at the nine of uh, wands and the nine of swords together. These two, I'm just going to put them right here next to each other. Uh, nine of swords, nine of wands together. What do we need to know? They're both reversed. The knight of wands just came out. The knight of swords and the knight of wands are both reversed now. I want to know why they're both reversed and what's important about them. I think you've been fearful of moving or you've been unable to, uh, unable to budge for some reason. Yeah, again, the five of pentacles, another five card. This is exactly the same energy. They're all exactly the same. So whatever this is. Now, what is it that has kept you? You were unable to budge because you were left out in the cold. You could have been left out of something financial. Um, there's something here about whatever it is. Tell me about strength. That Queen of Cups keeps trying to pop out. Tell me about strength. She keeps going back in, though. Tell me about strength.
Whoa, I almost lost half the deck, but this one came all the way out. Nine of Wands again. You have had to defend yourself. You, I mean, nine's everywhere. Your Ace of Cups, it's coming. It's right there. It's right here. It's right there. Uh, it, this is coming in for you. Look at this. The wheel's got to turn. Something's got to give. Look at this. I'm going to show you all this in the upright, but they're all reversed. The tower, the fool riding the wheel of fortune, and the Ace of Cups. This is like somebody here, you most likely, turning the wheel. Um, it could be something that you're waiting on. It could be news or information, but this something has kept you. It looks like fear has kept you from being able to do this. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups Reverse just came out. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Eight of Cups reverse and the Emperor. All right, so I feel as though you've been unable to budge. Look at this. I'm stuck in something really unhappy. This is like, I can't leave because Eight of Cups usually leaves something behind that's unhappy, something that's emotional. This is, I can't leave something emotional. It has something, you could be under some kind of control of this Emperor or you could be the Emperor because look, the loving man came out. So you could feel, if you are this man, I you might feel like it's your obligation, like you are the breadwinner in the family, or that you owe somebody something, or you, and if you're, I feel some of you are the person who this man is going to help. I don't know, um, am I saying this correctly? I feel this man is going to come in and be the one to offer you something. So that, but you have to have the strength too to move into it. So in other words, if you get this news or information or this offer, don't freak out or be afraid that you are, have to stay where you are. Take, take the initiative, you know. Now I'm not telling somebody to leave anything, you know, that you are happy with, obviously. But if this is going to be for somebody who's miserable where they are, they've been in a decrease cycle for God knows how long, and they've been stuck in it um, by their own, you know, doing or because they were obligated for some reason. But it's time to release yourself. And I feel like there's someone coming in with some kind of an offer that's way better, like way more balanced and fair and new beginning will happen. This is going to take you into a whole new cycle. But because you've been through such a down time, I mean, this is a horribly, painfully draining time in your life, just drained. You might not see the forest through the trees. You might not see the prize through the forest, through the trees. You might not recognize it. You might not be able to know that down that path is that new beginning and spirits trying to take you down it. And spirit says, take this. This is going to come in. It's going to come in like news and you're going to love it. You're going to be celebrating it. It's going to be so great, but you might hold yourself back from it because of the, maybe even fear of the unknown. You know, I don't really know what's around the corner. I'm comfortably miserable where I am because I know, you know, it's familiar, <laughs> you know, even though it's horrible, at least I know what to expect. And I'm never disappointed because I, I know how miserable and disappointing it already is. So I can't be any more disappointed. But if I take the new path, and it's even more disappointing. Believe me, it's no more disappointing than this mess. Um, when I look at this, what I see is someone who's been really through the ringer. Nine of Wands twice. The Strength card, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, not once but twice, along with the Lack card, along with the Five of Cups and the Five of... Did you have the Five of Cups twice? Yes. So, I mean, this has not been easy. This has just been, and look, so much drained energy and unhappiness. Whatever this is that you feel, I don't know if you feel obligated to it or you literally couldn't leave it. You were, like, you were obligated to it. When this new offer comes in, it's either going to come from this man or you are this man and it's going to come to you. 
uh, Spirit says, take that. Take your out. Take the out. It's for you. We're sending it for you. I hope this makes sense. Please comment down below. Also like this video. Have a good one. Bye.